Hello and welcome to the Harriet Muller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. Today I've had a request to draw a little mouse peeping out from a mouse hole. So that's what we're going to draw. This is what it's going to look like. So get yourself some plain white paper, you'll need a pencil, an eraser and a black pen. I've actually used two, one's a thicker one and one's a thinner one, but just one will do. And don't forget, if you like drawing animals, you can download my free PDF of how to draw horse galloping, which you'll find in the link just above here. So let's get started. Okay, step one is we're going to start off with a line, just diagonally all the way down. You can use a ruler. I'm drawing a very bad line. <laughs> oh dear. I'm sure you can do a much better job than I can. So a rough sketchy line just down the bottom, just to show where the floor is. Next, using your wrist, we're going to be drawing an arch so just come up to the top like that and come round till it hits the line okay we're going to draw another one just coming round all the way around to there draw a line across and this is going to be where the wall is so when we erase some of these terrible lines that i've been doing there we go. Let's get rid of them. Goodbye, horrible lines. Alrighty. There we go. Okay, so that's our mouse hole. Now to draw the mouse. So we're going to draw the body of the mouse just peeping out. And if you draw a curved line, just coming around like this. Remember, if I go too quickly, just hit pause or rewind it and go back to where we were. Now for a circle, this circle doesn't have to be perfect. My circle, I can guarantee, is not going to be perfect. So there we go, like a rough circle shape just there. That's going to be the head of the mouse. Okay, now we're just going to draw the mouth part. So just draw like a triangular little bit, just like this, just like that. Okay, and then a shape for the ear. Okay, and then last but not least, a little eye, just there. Step two is really easy. We're just joining up this circle to the other shape that we did here. And then we're going to just add in two little feet. So one here and another one just over there. And just draw, body comes up like that. Okay, now we're ready to do all the realistic parts. Okay, in this next step, we're going to be making the mouse look a little bit more realistic. So we're just going to erase some of these preparatory shapes that we did, just so that they don't confuse us. So just erase them, but just enough so that you can still see them. I can still see where they were but I'm just gonna get rid of them because they're very messy and they're interfering with what I'm looking at. So I can still see these shapes. Don't get rid of them completely because then there was no point in doing them. All right, so there we go. Let's get rid of the eye as well. I can still see it. So I'm going to start off with the nose, which was at the end of that kind of triangular shape that we did. So we're gonna do a little realistic nose now. So it comes out like so comes in and round like that. Okay, now we're going to do the ears. So now they're going to look more realistic. Bring it round and then it comes up like this and then the other side of the ear. There we go. All right, so now the little mouth bit in like this. There's a little kind of shape that comes round and then the underside. Then we're just going to draw some furry lines just to show its little chubby cheeks. And then another row of fur just here. Okay, now for the eye. So it's not completely round 
kind of more like an almond, like a, a really fat almond shape. Can you see that? Okay, so I'm going to add some kind of a reflection in there. So I'm not completely going to color it in black. I'm leaving the reflective parts clear, just like so. Okay, and then now we're going to draw some more furry lines, just coming down, all the way down, till it hits the foot. And then we're just going to just draw a line coming down here. Another one, just where we drew that shape before. And we're using lots of these furry lines to come down. And then more fur in the back. And then now for the feet, little feet poking out tiny little toes, very cute, and coming back round, and then the other little foot just poking out, there we go. Okay, I'm going to draw some dots, and then loads of whiskers, a whole bunch of whiskers, just like this. Also, we're just going to put in some background, so I'm just going to add a line going down, just in the background. Okay, for this next step, I'm actually going to use two different pens. I'm using a thicker pen now just to do the mouse hole because it's kind of like a jaggedy hole that the um, mouse has nibbled through the wall. So just draw a jaggedy line. doesn't really matter where it goes, just like so. And then the jaggedy inside bit, just like this. Okay, and then follow that line across. And follow this line around here. Now this part's all going to be in darkness, so just very lightly I'm just going to shade using my, my thicker pen. I've purposefully chosen a pen that's sort of running out and I'm using it very lightly just so that I can shade with it. Remember to do all the lines in the same direction, otherwise it'll look a bit messy. So just keep on shading. Again, if you want to do this in pencil, it'd be much easier just to shade. But because I'm doing this in pen, I just thought I'd show you a little technique. There we go. Even sounds like a little mouse, doesn't it? Squeak, squeak, squeak. There we go. Okay, now we're going to draw the mouse in a finer pen. So this is so that I can get some more detail. So I'm just going to go over the shapes that we did before and I'll speed this up a bit. So now I'm going to add the tail, so it's a long tail, bring it around like so. I'm just going to add some more furry lines just where the um, little mouse is most in shadow. So just here, just behind the ear, kind of the neck area, just here and also underneath the chin. There we go. And also the foot. So just keep on drawing lots of these little furry lines. Okay, and the same just here. And particularly on the underside of the belly and just towards the back. Yeah. Just like this. And then also, just in 
inside the ear where it hits the shadow. There we go. There we go. And also, of course, the tail. Let's draw some little furry lines on the tail. All the way along. There we go. Now I'm going to erase out all these pencil lines. So last but not least, I'm just going to do a little bit more shading just here. Where it's in darkness. And just a little bit of shading this way. Just to show that this part's in darkness. There we go. With my squeaky pen. There we go, so there's our finished mouse in a mouse hole drawing. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please hit subscribe and like. And I do hope to see you on the next one. If you've got any requests whatsoever, pop them in the comment section below. Thanks for joining me today. Bye bye.